Kakadosh Boketov, we're continuing with Alachot of Tisha B'Av. This is talking about now Shavua Shechalbo, or the nine days. In Siman Tav Kufnun Aleph, Sif Zain, Maran brings down, some people have a minhag not to bathe from Rosh Chodesh already. Then he says, some people have a minhag not to do it only with Shabbat Zoh, only in the actual week of Shavua Shechalbo. Right? So, what exactly is, whether it's going to be to do with Minagim, whether it's going to be with Halakha, the Ramah does bring down immediately, right, that you are allowed for Tzorech Mitzvah. And therefore, if a woman or whatever would need for a Mitzvah in order to bathe, she is going to be permitted to bathe herself. Now, when we come and we talk about bathing, the Minhag was, says Ramah, Afilu Betzonen, that even in cold water, you're not supposed to come and you're not supposed to bathe yourselves. So this is actually going to be very interesting because it comes out according to Ramah from Rosh Chodesh, which is basically from this past Wednesday. That's it, no more showers until next Thursday night. That's what's coming out. However, though, here we have to understand that there's going to be a few things. The Orlet Sion and also Chazon Ovadia brings down that what happens if you live in a very hot country, right? You live, whether it's going to be Miami or other places as well, that it's very, very hot. And therefore, obviously, people, they sweat a lot. So even according to the Ramah, you're allowed to wash your body with cold water. And even in Shavuot Shechal Bo Why? Even during the week of Tisha B'Av. Because he says, you're not having kavana to come, right, and start enjoying yourself. Really, Be'emet, all you're doing is just taking away the zeah, you're just taking away the, the sweat. And there, you're not doing it for Ta'anuk. So therefore, what happens is you're going to be allowed to. So now, okay, fine. So now we just permitted that you're allowed to come and take, right, let's say, for example, a cold shower. And according to Shitab Maran, technically speaking, it could be what? It could be only maybe Be'emet, only going to be Shavua Shechalbo. It's not going to be from the nine days. So fine, and then you have different minagim. Certain places, they were machmir the nine days. Certain people, places were only machmir during the Shavua Shechalbo. Okay, fine. But now what's going to happen? You just turn on the cold water and just run into a, a quick shower. It's freezing cold. What are you going to do exactly? So here, it brings down whether it's going to be the Orlet Sion. He comes and he says like this. He says, cold water, which is too cold that you can't even get into it, you could take away a little bit of it with Mat Maim Chamim, which means you could turn on the hot water with the cold water a very, very little bit that it's not going to be freezing cold. Now the Chazon Ovadia says, but you have to be very, very careful. Why? Because basically we know that even an Avel is not allowed to take, to take a shower with Maim Poshrim, with water which is lukewarm, which is tepid. He can't. It has to be that it's still considered cold. So therefore what you're allowed to do is, is that you're allowed to take away a little bit of the coldness. But it cannot be that it's room temperature. It's going to, it still has to be that it's cold water. Why? Because if not, then you have the Isur, that you're not allowed to take a shower with uh, regular water. It doesn't have to be hot, boiling hot. Even if it's going to be going to be uh, lukewarm, that's also going to be a problem. So therefore, but you're allowed to come and you're allowed to take away a little bit of the cold. That you're not freezing. That you're not, you know, that prevent or you're not uh, coming and uh, breathing very quickly because it's such a cold water. So that you're allowed to do. Why? Because you're not doing that for tanug. You're not doing that for enjoyment. You're just doing it so that way your body is going to be clean. So that's going to be what Alakha is, is whether it's going to be already starting from Motzei Shabbat and onwards, you already have this halakha that a person should be very careful that they cannot take warm showers, right? They would have to take a cold shower. Now, it doesn't have to be that they're freezing cold. It could take away a little bit of the coldness, but as long as it's not going to be lukewarm. Once it's lukewarm, then it's going to become a problem.